Hello, this is Question Mark, and I'm here for my second box opening of the day. Uh, my first one was a set booster box from Zendikar Rising, and there was definitely some exciting stuff in there. I'll have a separate video uploaded for that, for the people who are interested in set booster boxes and what they come out looking like. But we also have collector's booster boxes. Uh, or well, one, <laughs> one. They're very expensive. Um, but uh, the expeditions that come in this set, um, the fetch lands and such, they're so valuable. Uh, they come in uh, draft booster boxes. They come in set booster boxes. You get one expedition in those and they're non-foil. Which, a little bit of a bummer maybe for the people who have been getting box toppers for a little while. But, if you want to foil Misty Rainforest, if you want to foil uh, Scalding Tarn, Ancient Tomb, Wasteland, <laughs> you gotta get one of these. Although, okay, that was a little scary to me that it's like, it's like folded over like that, but I can feel that the card is right underneath that. So, yeah, okay, and I wasn't sure about that either, but two expeditions in here. And so these are guaranteed two non-foil expeditions. And then there's a small chance that any of these collector's booster packs could have an expedition. They could also have a foil expedition, and that is the only way to get a foil box topper expedition card from Zendikar Rising, like an ancient tomb or a wasteland or a cavern of souls. So I'm hoping for some of those. Those are the cards I'm most excited about. I'm also looking for uh, Nahiri or Nissa. Or foils of cards I already have in like. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. And let's start opening packs. Oh yeah, there's also tons of foils. Lots and lots of foils. <laughs> this is a 15 card pack. I believe there's 11 foils in each one of these. So that's a foil common. And another foil common. And more foil commons. And that's all fine. It's all nice. I did just open a bunch of other commons. Um, <clears throat> and if I get a foil common that I'm actually going to play in something, then that's cool. Uh, I'd love to have more foils of even commons and uncommons if I'm going to play them in something. But I'm going to go kind of quickly through the ones I'm not going to play. And that's a foil land, and that's always nice. I think that's actually guaranteed foil basic in every one of these. Uh, there is also a guaranteed one extended art rare, and that's Crawling Barons. So that's my first rare. This is extended art Crawling Barons, and that's cool. Um, <clears throat> but Magmatic Channeler. People are talking about this card for modern, for <laughs> standard, for vintage, legacy, commander, possibly every format, saying it's like Tarmogoyf or something. I mean, it could be a 2-mana 4-4. Four four. You just have to have some instances or sorcerers in your graveyard, play some lightning bolts and stuff, and and you're good. And then this thing also lets you kind of draw cards. Uh, it's exciting. Um, okay, so that's that's a foil rare, and that's a extended art rare. Okay. And we got a showcase common. That's right, there's always going to be a couple of showcase cards uh, I'm really looking for the Retreat to Felidar, or Felidar Retreat. I'm really interested in that cat. This is a cool cat, but... Showcase, another Showcase, and there's a Showcase Rare. I believe it's going to be three Showcase cards where the last one can be rare. So, Scoot Swarm. I don't think I got a normal Scoot Swarm in my whole set booster box. And now I've got a, a Showcase version. Whenever land enters the battle... Oh, right, right, right. You make extra insects, and then if you have six or more lands, you make more scoot swarms, which then make more insects, which make more copies of themselves. Okay, so that's a showcase rare. And a showcase foil. Okay, so we got combinations of different things here. 
Uh, I guess like that. Uh, oh, okay, then we got an extended art foil rare. And, uh, oh, this is the triple Darksteel relic. <laughs> um, Darksteel relic, not uh, the commander staple it once was, but what if you get three of them? Triple the Darksteel relics, Darksteel ingots, triple the Darksteel ingots for double the cost? Maybe people will play it again. I don't know, seems cool. I guess I'll put it down there, and then a foil token. Okay. So there's a lot of different kinds of cards in these packs. Extended art, foil extended art. Uh, normal foil. <laughs> um, uh, showcase. Showcase foils. And foil tokens. Did I mention that every token is, every pack also has a foil token in it? <laughs> but, uh, okay. We got foil commons. And more foil commons. In fact, <laughs> every card in here fits into one of those special categories. Normal card, they gotta foil it. Uh, the rest are showcases and rares. <laughs> but that card's pretty cool. You like a warrior's deck? Maybe that's good. Oh, I love the double face cards. I'm gonna like to see some of those. Um, you know, I guess just the normal common and uncommon foils I'll, I'll put over here. Okay, there's Foil Basic, I like that. Oh, wow, okay. So this slot, and I haven't been keeping great track of the slots yet, this slot is for, is it, is it guaranteed extended art, or is it the card that's not included in the normal set? Because this card is not in Zendikar Rising. This card is in the Commander decks that go along with Zendikar Rising, and it's the extended art version of it that you can't get except in a collector's booster. If this was a foil, this would be like an epic, epic pull. It's already very rare, very cool. I don't know if I even like this card. I don't know if I like the deck that it goes in. <laughs> Maybe I do. I think I like it better than the other legendary rogue in this set. So, so there, I guess it goes there. Oh, okay, we got a foil mythic here. And it's a double face card, and one I'm going to play probably, because it can be a land on the other side that comes in untapped. And that's sick. So that's a foil mythic. And we got some showcase cards, showcase card. <sighs> okay, that is also awesome. Uh, <laughs> so we got a borderless red white double face land. Uh, that's super cool. Anyone playing a red-white deck, this is what you want. And, yeah, I guess Borderless is its own, another thing. On top of normal frame foils, extended arts, and showcase, there's also Borderless. Can't forget that. <laughs> foil showcase. And a foil extended art rare. This is a weird one. It gives opponents uh, stuff, what is it? This damage to a player. That player creates a goblin construct artifact creature token. This creature can't block. And at the beginning of your upkeep, this creature deals one damage to you. Weird. I might play it in, in Xantia or something like that. But uh, <laughs> weird and wild. Okay. You know what, I guess. Foil tokens or something? Okay. Okay. Right. Oh. And if I'm opening them this way, you see the token there for that. I don't know if I want that. Oh, I'm having trouble. Okay, there we go. Okay. Start with the common, Shell Shield, Tazim Raptor, Home Survivor. This is Zendikon, Shadow Stinger. Okay, that's all fine. Through all the normal foil, commons and uncommons. Oh, nice. Okay, I think I mentioned in the other video that I've got a vampire deck, but I'm a little picky about it. It's Edgar Markov. It's trying to be aggressive, low mana cost. I'm not playing a lot of the vampires in this set. I am playing this one, though, or I'm going to, especially since I got an extended art version of it, because what that deck likes is low mana cost, like two, evasive, like menace. Having more than one power is a bonus, this one has two. Lifelink is an added bonus. And then the kicker of resurrecting a creature 
it's all upside, baby. And then also it has a cleric tribe on it. Uh, and I'm going to be putting a little bit of a tribal theme in there, or a uh, uh, party theme in that vampire deck. So that is super, super awesome. Uh, and I guess it goes with Anawan. And then we got a foil rare, just a normal one. I think this was my pre-release card. Um, so that's fine, but not super exciting. Okay, the showcase card, showcase card, and showcase rare. That's not guaranteed. I'm just, I don't like this card a lot. Because it's like, okay, 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 and then okay still. No no side of it is exciting to me. I don't, I don't see a strong pull to put that in any particular kind of deck. Even Landfall. It doesn't have Trample or anything. Crab, on the other hand. I love me. <laughs> this crab is so cool. I'm so glad that I got a foil showcase of it. Because it's very cute. And it's very shiny. What else is here? Oh! Okay, we've got a showcase legendary creature elemental foil Philath world sculptor. I've been saying that this is not as good as Avenger of Zendikar because Avenger of Zendikar helps you go wide, and this one cares about basic land specifically, the other one cares about any kind of land. But this is still really good, and it can be your commander, enabling a red-green landfall deck, whereas Avenger Zendikar can't be your commander. So this, whoo, super cool. Um, I guess I'll put it here, because it's a foil showcase card, but it's also a rare. I don't know. <laughs> I'll worry more about that stuff later. And, of course, I'm going to sleeve a lot of this stuff up. Maybe all of it when we're done here uh, off camera. I'm just setting them up this way for now. Uh, okay. Sneaking Guide. Expedition Skulker. Oh, that's kind of weird feeling. Uh, <laughs> Living Tempest. Disenchant. Core Blade Master. Mm -hmm. That's all well and good. Foil Forest. Now's where it gets exciting. Okay. <laughs> Extended Art Yasharn. That's awesome. Um, Yasharn is a great creature, possibly a good commander, possibly good in the deck. I think it's cool looking, and I like that it's a legendary creature elemental boar. There's a lot to like about this card. But there's more. <laughs> there's more coming. Wait, where are the... That. We got Linvala. Foil Linvala. Um, I'm probably going to put it in the party deck. And I think the... Woo. I've heard some people kind of evaluate this poorly, but like, hold on, hold on, let's, let's look at this card. Three mana, three three flyer. I think that's a good card. And then wait, it has this ability, sacrifice it, and give hexproof or indestructible to all your creatures until end of turn? That's a really good creature. And then what's this? It has another ability that cares about you having a full party. Doesn't matter if that ever happens. The rest of the card is so solid. It's... I think it's really good. I think people are underrating it because they're like, Oh, this ability is like not going to happen very often. Who cares? It's a cherry on top. So I guess that's there. Uh, okay, we got Showcase Common. Showcase Common. Phylath! <laughs> Another Phylath! To go with the other Phylath! Well, they're friends. <laughs> Best friends. <laughs> uh, and a foil common showcase card. Ooh, extended art foil rare Maul of the Skyclaves. I don't know how I feel about this card. I don't know. Could be good, I guess. I mean, it reminds me more of an enchantment. And that you cast it for three mana. It gives plus two, plus two flying in first strike. That seems really good. To think of it as like an aura. And then it's an aura where if your creature dies, you know, the equip cost is a lot, but it has an equip cost. So you're not completely out of luck. I, I think that card's pretty good. I'm not sure where I'll play it, but it's pretty good. Foil commons, foil commons. You might see a little play. Canopy Bayloth, okay. That's cool. And then we got the showcase. Oh, no, no, double face card. Okay, we got the basic, and then 
Extended Art Roiling Vortex. This art. Can we get a good look at this? There we go. What is going on there? Someone put a volcano in the sky? Don't do that. And then there's all this, like, structure built under it. They built, like, a temple around a volcano in the sky? That seems like a bad idea. I mean, at the beginning of each player's upkeep, Roiling Vortex deals one damage to them, including the people who built this place. Uh, this card's super cool, actually. Um, Sulfuric Vortex-ish? But, yeah. Oh! There she is! <laughs> there she is! I've been talking about building a party deck this whole time. I wanted a Tazri, Beacon of Unity. I was hoping I'd get a foil or extended art, or foil extended art version. I got a foil. I'm happy. This deck isn't going to be good, but that's part of why I want to build it. Because I've been trying to build some decks recently that have been too good. They just like, whoops, accidentally infinite comboed. And, and that's boring to me. I'd rather play Magic. <laughs> and this ha will have a lot of Magic playing going on. <laughs> Okay, Prowling Felidar, cool, Tertoro Sethka. Ooh! Okay, we got another borderless, double face land. This one's green white. Uh, excellent, excellent. Love it. Love it. Foil uh, showcase and foil extended art rare. Okay. Um, let's see, I guess it's there. It's there. Okay, I got my piles mixed up. It's probably bugging somebody. Bugging me. Um, each opponent mills eight cards. If the spell was kicked, each opponent mills half their library. So it's a little bit more expensive than Traumatize, but it can hit every player if you kick it. And if you don't, each opponent mills eight. There's a lot of cards in this set that support a mill theme. In the same standard as escape cards like Uro and Kroxa. Like, what? So, those cards aren't gonna be usable in standard until they ban Uro or the escape set rotates out. But the escape set will rotate out, I think, the same time as this set. So, rip. Oh! Well, <laughs> there's the extended art, Tazri. So, we got the foil, Tazri. We got the extended art tassery. Can I just... Can, can I mush them together somehow? Can I s staple them? No one would mind if I put staples through these, right? Um, can I... Maybe I put both of them in a pat... In a seat... Oh, that's what I could do. Put both of them in a sleeve. One on one side, the other on the other side. And I just flip it over depending on my mood. Is it a shiny mood? Or is it a big art mood? I don't know. <laughs> that's awesome though. And she's a mythic. I didn't even point that out before. She's a mythic. That's awesome. Glad to have... Oh, this is one of the best cards in this set, if you ask me. Um, if you ask a lot of people, this is going to be stealing soul rings every day of its life. <laughs> you're going to pay one, you're going to steal a soul ring, you're going to steal a mana crypt, you're going to make someone cry who's got good mana, and then you will have the good mana. <laughs> and this card's probably only going to be worth like two, three dollars or something. Uh, not not the foil one, <laughs> but um, I think this card's awesome, and I'm gonna play it in ninjas because it's cheap. It's got flying, and you can kick it, steal something, and then if you bounce it with ninjutsu, you can kick it again and steal something again later. I think that's where it's at its best. So I'm excited about that. Where's the uh, oh foil rares? Kindiox, Kanjid Boa, the cute mount. There it is. Catfall. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Followed our retreat. I really wanted one of these, and I'm glad that I got a showcase version. Uh, but I want to have a second one to trade to my cat-loving friend. Um, so, yeah, I mean, just play a land, make a cat. Play a land, put counters on all your creatures and give them vigilance until in a turn. Uh, <laughs> how could you hate this? It's It's win-win in every possible direction. I love it. And I've got a mono white deck that is based on land ramp, so I'm gonna play it. Spitfire Legac. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm already playing one though. Oh, what's this? Oh gosh. <laughs> That's a borderless foil double face land. 
It's the red and blue one, which is awkward because I don't have a red and blue deck. So, I may not end up playing it in anything. <laughs> but, I've got it, and it's very pretty. And I will show it off to people. <laughs> um, okay, we're, I think, halfway through. Yeah, got five packs left after the one I'm holding. So we're about halfway through, especially because the expedition's here in the corner. So we've got foil, foil, and I imagine also I'm going to see more repeats of things I've already got. I might not have as much to say about it the second time around. Extended art inscriptions, not super hot on the inscriptions, but they're cool. Uh, we got a foil Null Priest of Oblivion. Do I prefer the foil or the extended art? I might prefer the extended art in this case. Well, that's a foil rare uh, there. So just so many f rares in every pack. Another Scoot Swarm. So good. Foil cat. Wait, these are supposed to go here. This one's here. Foil borderless crawling barons and the illusion token. Okay, how did I mix this up again? It goes like that. Okay. Uh, crawling barons. I, I don't know. Seems all right. Seems all right. Um, taps for colorless comes in untapped, so it's useful as a standard land. Four cards, put two counters on it, then you may make it into a creature. Um, so it doesn't have any like abilities, really, but I mean, other than making colorless. But it can get big. I don't know. It might be used for it. There's some decent commons and uncommons. And then... Oh, right. I hadn't gotten one of these yet. So, Wayward Guide Beast for one red. Is this good? I don't know. Probably not in Commander. <laughs> Um, set that aside here. Monarch Aspirant. Is this good? I don't know. Seems slow. Seems like it would only be good in, like, a control deck, but maybe also only in constructed formats like standard, because then you could more likely guarantee it coming out on turn two. Like you've got to have, you know, two turns with this out before it becomes good, really. I don't know. But foil rare. Can't be upset about that. Okay, showcase card, showcase card. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, the showcase slot that could be an uncommon, could be a rare, was in fact the mythic. Rainbow colored. Um, nah, locus of creation. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay, I was just... <laughs> oh, and it's the, the cover boy. Um, so, <laughs> I was talking about maybe I have to build a deck around Omnath. Now I've got two. Two of these. <laughs> I don't know. If I had a foil one, I think I have to. But we'll see. Uh, and then we got a foil showcase card. And, oh, okay. <laughs> so we've got an extended art foil mythic rare double face land. <laughs> um, so I did just put this in the ninjas deck because... It can be 7 mana when you reveal it off of Yuriko. You can also play it just as a land for free. Um, well, now i got to take it out so I can put in the foil extended art version. That's insane. I love it. Probably worth a little bit too. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh... Wow. Okay. Very pleased. Still looking for Nissa or Nahiri... Though, maybe a foil Humnath if I'm being greedy. Maybe the foil extended art Tazri if I'm being double greedy. Uh, oh, I'm also looking for the legendary vampire, the black red one that cares about parties. We only got a couple packs left, so I don't know if I can pull that one, but I'm very interested in it. Skyclave Apparition seems pretty good, pretty good rare. A lot of people like it. Foil Inscription. Not bad. Okay. The showcase cards. Okay. And, uh... And we've got another borderless double face land, and it's black and white, and I definitely play black and white. Okay, that makes me happy. I'm gonna put this in a deck pronto. And... Foil Dreadworm. Foil Extended Art Aura. Okay, so I don't know if I have a use for this guy... But he's really cool. And if you're thinking about building a... I did it again. Um, a cleric deck 
this is your man. He's so good. It's like it's like Kamigawa's spirit tribal the the skate or no um spirit shift thing. Um what do I call it? Soul shift. Except you put it on the battlefield. <laughs> and clerics might be a better tribe than spirits, at least in Kamikawa. <laughs> um Ooh, love that. Foil feed the swarm. Okay, taunting armor major strikes. We got the basic land. And we got the nimble trap finder, which do I play that in uh General Tazri deck? Maybe. I'll think about it. I saw it on game nights and uh it was uh, uh pretty good. Pretty good there. Foil myriad construct, I think it's a little overrated. Cause I think its second ability to, uh, its last ability doesn't get triggered that much. Couple of cool cards. Oh, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, <laughs> it's so pretty. The Lotus Cobra. The, <laughs> the showcase Lotus Cobra. Is so pretty. Oh, I gotta. I, I'm gonna be showing this off to some people. I mean, of course, there's a level beyond even this. There's a foil of it, and it would be even cooler if it were foil. But this is so cool. I love this. This is so good. Okay, we got a foil, and so we got a foil expedition, uh, which I said at the beginning was only possible in these collector's boosters. Now, is this a misty rainforest? Is this a cavern of souls? No, it is not. Well, this is Celestial Colonnade, and that is very cool. It is very shiny. It is very pretty. I think I mentioned you can see more of like the wings formed by the wave. Oh, okay. I don't know if I still play Celestial Colonnade in any of my commander decks, but if I do, I'm replacing it with this one. Uh, wow. I think I'll put it here for now. Okay, well, uh, odds are against me that I'll pull another one of those. I'd still really love to get a Wasteland, uh, you know, all these things I've been saying. Valakut. I'd love to get a Valakut. I play Valakut in some decks. The Molten Pinnacle. But uh, even one foil expedition. Super awesome. Basically the, the masterpieces of this set. Um, buy enough expensive packs and I guess that's what you get. Uh, Island. Throne of McKinney. Okay, I'm tired of the Throne of McKinney actually. I've got, that's my play set. Throne of McKinney right there. From the other video. And here he's lithoforming. Cool, it's a... Uh, Red kind of poor man's scape shift. I like it. It's not bad. Any deck you would play scape shift, if you can play that, do also play that, I think. These are all right. Oh, we got another borderless double face land. It's the red blue one again. It's very pretty. I love the tropical green colors. I love the flying stuff going on. But I don't have a red blue deck, so. It might not see any play in my decks, but cute canyons your book. So, <laughs> you remember what I said about foil expeditions? <laughs> and how they're like the masterpieces of this set? Maybe you get them a little bit more often than that, because that's two. And strip mine. Hmm, strip mine. Where is that at these days in terms of money and stuff like that? I, I don't know. Strip mine. Oh, I play strip mine. I will, I will strip mine you. My Kiki Jiki deck, I will strip mine you. And now it won't be no fourth edition <laughs> jank, the cheapest version of strip mine you can find. It'll now be probably the most expensive version of strip mine you can find. Because, ho oh, dang. Okay. I was asking nicely. For a second foil expedition in my last two packs. Thought there was no way. I just got one. And uh, <clears throat> it's still not the, the best I could get. I could still get a uh, Cavernous Souls or uh, Misty Rainforest. Uh, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> but, uh, but very, very good. A gift. Uh, <laughs> What's that flavor text say? Uh, Come on, Skitch. We'll lose them in the geyser fields. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. That's that's not my thing. That's his thing. I'm not going to keep doing that. 
but I wanted to do it that one time anyway. <laughs> Tajiro Paragon, that's okay. That's cool. I don't, I don't know if I'll even play that in the <laughs> General Tazri Party deck, though. It's just pretty good. Glass Pool Mimic, that's cool too, I guess. Foil Rare, all right. Canopy Bayloth, yeah, get a couple of those out of the way. Oh! <laughs> I said I wanted another Planeswalker. I said I wanted a Hiri. I really want a Borderless one. Oh, it's so pretty. I mean, actually, the stuff on the outside is so, like, messed up. Melted and twisted. And I know there's, like, various vignettes going on in the corners, but you can't hardly see them because the borders that are there cover them up. But I don't know. I like that this card, I mean, four mana, four loyalty, it pluses to make a token, and the token can get equipped for free? Uh, I That tells you what kind of deck to build. Card advantage here. You can do its minus three right out the gate. I think this card's excellent, and definitely has a home in some decks. So that's uh, Borderless. So there, I guess. We got a foil. Oh! <laughs> So my last pack, the last Fancy Pants card, <laughs> Borderless, or, or no, Extended Art, Foil, uh, Vampire Rogue, who I am definitely playing in my Vampire deck. Gotta show off that bling. Gotta show it off. <laughs> so yeah, that's awesome. I'm definitely playing that one. And that brings us to our Expedition Box Toppers. Now, these cannot be foils. So they will not be like my Celestial Colonnade, or like my Strip Mine <laughs> that I opened. Um, but I'm still looking for a Misty Rainforest. I don't own one at all. Um, I really could use another Cavernous Souls. It goes in every tribal deck, and I've got more than one tribal deck. So I don't care if it's foil. It's Wasteland. Woo! <laughs> Okay, I am very pleased with that. I I do play Wasteland in multiple decks. I will continue to play. Oh, some people are going to get Strip Mind and Wasteland Expeditions in the same deck from me now. Um, they're not going to be as happy being on the receiving end of all that money. <laughs> but I will be. <laughs> uh... Sure, I'll get your Cabal Coffers. I'll get your Gaius Cradle. You know, the, the really nasty stuff. I'll also get your Karoo. <laughs> Watch out. All right, last one. Last one. Prismatic Vista. That is awesome. Oh, did I, did I show this off really close on the camera? I don't know. Um, both of these are super cool. Prismatic Vista may not be Misty Rainforest, a card that I don't own. I do own one Prismatic Vista, but I want to put this in so many decks. I put this in Kiki Jiki because I play Crucible of Worlds and Rings of Bright Hearth in Kiki Jiki. Um, I played in a lot of decks, in four color decks. Um, so, yeah, okay. So, that's all the packs opened, and I ended up with not just the two expeditions but two more foil expeditions. We've got multiple borderless double face cards, including one foil one and a borderless planeswalker. Not to mention all the other cool foil rares, uh, showcase rares, extended arts, foil extended arts, all this stuff. So much shininess, so much bling. Was it all worth it? Yeah, yeah, especially to get to share it this way. Um, maybe someone else will enjoy watching this video of me enjoying opening all this. And then someone will later be very sad when <laughs> they get their lands blown up with my strip mine. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed watching this like I have opening all these. Uh, signing off, uh, have a great day. <laughs>